So this is Ferris Martinez, and he is the right-hand man for Nicholas Wilton, the artist that we all know and love and have learned so much from. And I, Ferris, I think I met you about three years ago. I think it was around 2015 when I first took that workshop yeah. in Molokai. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then I met you in person when I got to visit the studio in Sausalito. Mm -hmm. And um, can you just talk a little bit about your background and how you kind of, you know, your early career and how you ended up where you are now? Sure. Um, I guess, uh, like, firstly, I've been drawing and painting my whole life. This has always been like a part of who I am, um, even, you know, just like a little, little, little kid. Uh, and uh, I've taken, you know, I've just always taken art classes. That was one thing that my uh, parents were really keen on is like finding something you enjoy and just like, you know, figuring out how to do it well. Um, but anyway, so I uh, did that, went to school, um, finally got like a, you know, actual college degree. Um, and then what was, what was it in? Uh, art practice from UC art Berkeley. Practice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it was great. It was a, that it was a perfect program for me. It was awesome. Um, but, uh, and then when I got out of school, I needed a job and I was just, I refused to go back to waiting tables and bartending. I was just, I was like, I'm not going to do it. Like, what did I go to school for? If I'm just going to go right back into that. Um, and not to disparage anyone who does do that. You can make an amazing living right. doing that. Right. And yeah, that's a whole other topic, but, exactly. um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> when I, uh, got out of school, just through the magic of Craigslist, um, just found this job posting for someone who needed an artist assistant and it was with Nick and uh mm. first he just started you know sort of started off with like small sort of menial tasks and um and then he just gave me the space to learn how to do all these other things now that's pretty much like how it happened how I met him like what like what sort of things did you learn when you started to work for him sure sure uh well first thing like using how to the very first thing that I learned how to do that was you know, more complex or on the more complex side was just how to use Photoshop. Um, right. And he knew how to do like a little bit of Photoshop. He's pretty handy with it as, as everyone knows, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. But then um, he just gave me the space to learn how to use Photoshop. And then from there it was like, well, my I learn how to use all the other Adobe products, you know, how to use Premiere, how to use Illustrator, how to use InDesign. Um, so that was one thing. Um, also just uh, helping him build his website. Now, now I'm not a programmer by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm a, I like to think I'm like a good tinkerer, I guess. <laughs> like yeah, I can, yeah. okay. You know, like I can, cool. um, he, he just said, Hey, here's, you know, here's what I'd like to do. See if you can figure out how to do it. So I learned how to do a little bit of coding as well. Um, but like perhaps what was the best thing was that he created an environment where it was, um, sort of if you want to learn how to do something like by all means go ahead and do so you know take the time to research how to do that um and that was that was huge that was a very very cool thing so i've i've learned um like a lot working here working for right. me it hasn't been like this stale sort of stagnant you know work environment um it's been, been a, on, yeah. on the job training yeah. just yeah. On, um it's yeah. really cool also that you know nick being your boss that he gave you this freedom to pursue these things that really interested you. I want to go back to something that you said, though, at uh, when you worked at the, um, uh, what was the name of the hotel again? Ritz-Carlton. Uh, Ritz-Carlton, yeah. Do you feel like on a day-to-day -day basis, you're normally an introvert or an extrovert? I think I am an introverted extrovert. <laughs> I, I, th I think like, nor like I am uh, like, most happy when I'm completely alone, <laughs> yeah. you know, right, like if, right. I, if I'm in, if I'm in my studio painting with music on, like, I love that. I love being in like a vacuum and just right. surrounded by just myself. That's it. Right. Um, okay, cool. But, but, uh, I, I also think I'm a pretty social person. So, uh, but that's not, I have to, that, that's always a bit more, um, forced i guess like not forced maybe that's the right word but just i don't i don't slip into that as naturally as i do as just like being by myself you know yeah like you do both well but if you had a choice you'd probably want to be at home painting in your studio yeah. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly 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 but the ritz did i mean that was one of the great things that, like yeah I mean, it was like how to just like engage with anybody like even people that you would never encounter in your normal life who have completely different views from you and everything you know couldn't be more different than you are but taught me how to like engage with people and actually have a conversation with people and get to know them as well. So one thing I, I, I should have like prepared to ask you 
and maybe you can do this anyways, mm -hmm. is I would love to see some of the artwork you've done. Are you oh, able sure. to show us some? Yeah. Do you have a website? Do you have a website? I do have a website. I do right. indeed. Yeah. All right. Uh, Let's take a look. So I'm going to do two things. One, uh, I'll show you my website. And then I also want to pull up my Instagram feed because that's where I post like work in progress. Nice. You know, stuff that hasn't actually been added to the website yet. Um, okay. So that, and then also just like random art related stuff. Nice. Uh, let me share that right here. Okay. Can you see this? I can. Wow. Okay. I saw some of your work a long time ago and I think you've, if this looks like you've really, um, you know, like been growing and. Yeah. Well, this one isn't me. This is actually, <laughs> I wish that was, that's actually from uh, the Legion of Honor, which is this museum in San Francisco. They oh. all did. <laughs> No wonder. Yeah. I was like, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Very impressive. Yeah. So this was one I'm working on right now. This is just a smaller piece. Um, nice. But uh, painting hair is like, yeah. So, <laughs> so time consuming and tedious. It was a stretch even for me. But anyway, this is something I'm working on right now. I think my work is starting to, I'm finally, finally, finally starting to get, I think, like some kind of nugget with my work, you know? Well, actually this, okay. So when I first saw this and I mm -hmm. saw the, the one in the middle here, I, right here, I didn't really think that was yours. No, not that oh, one, the one above one. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I didn't think that was yours. I, I looked over to the left and saw the yellow and the red. Uh, I actually thought that was yours. Yeah. And um, from what I remember, seeing earlier you do love figurative work right i do yeah okay. i really do. i don't think i'll ever oh go ahead sorry no no that's okay I, so i guess i'm really curious like do you have a model are you working from photos sketches so i am working from uh here's the here's my side let's go to the paintings right now so i'm working oh. primarily from photo graphic reference but then also just stuff from my head after a certain nice. point i try wow. and i try not to how can i say this um so I went to a, an arts high school and like part of the, the whole training that we would do from like, you do your regular classes in the morning and then from one to three or five, depending on how long you wanted to stay, you would just do your discipline, whatever it was. So they had like a music department, dance department, so on and so forth. Um, the art department was amazing, but it was very, it was good for me. I, I don't know if it's the best way to learn for everybody because it's very, um, they called it like a, just like a classical approach to training people. So it was, you know, four to three to five hours a day of just like copying old masters drawings or wow. um, you'd have, we'd have live models and you're just like doing like live sketch, you know, sketches from life, you know, right. one after the other, one after the other. And it didn't even matter if it was, if it was good or not. Like rarely would the teachers give you any kind of praise. And I think that was probably yeah. a good, I, I liked that because it, it, it was, but some people it was not the most positive experience. Um, but but um, with the, so that taught me how to just like render something from life uh, like as accurately as possible. Um, I know I can do that. I know I can look at a photo of something and copy it and make it look real. But the one thing that that's what I, that I didn't get, um, and I've only been able to, I think I'm just starting to get it now is it didn't really give me a sense of how to, um, which is something that Nick always talks about, is like how to like create sort of like work that's more personal, work that's more, yeah. more like a sort of a extension of myself, you know? Right, right. Um, so I'm finally, finally starting to do that where it's like kind of yeah. like this one was when I just completed. This was uh, it's a dual portrait of my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> Like, it's this thing of like, okay, well, what is it that I actually like painting? Like, I really like painting faces. I really like painting hands. I really like um, uh, bright colors in work. Um, so it's like, I'm trying to, like, this is a weird way to say it, but it's almost like have the courage to just like really hone in on those things that I like and just be like, you know what? I'm yeah. just gonna, I, I'm gonna unapologetically paint these things and hopefully I'll, I'll get to some kind of it'll start to feel uh you know less forced and more like oh, okay this is actually like this is something that I think there's something here to it and that's really hard to do I think it takes a lot of courage but um I mean to me this is very personal from the color selection to the fact I mean I love that you said you like to focus on the face and the hands and like I don't know like when you think about how many things you could paint is endless, but then yeah. to sort of narrow it down to, like you said, you're homing in on 
what do I care most about? You know, and you're like, screw it, whatever, whatever I want to do, I'm going to do it. And that's, I think that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is very personal. And it's actually been um, like a kind of inspiration watching you and a couple other people who have uh, actually increasingly more and more people who are in the sort of the art to life umbrella, as it were, like watching people who have really um, stuck with it, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, Mm I'll stop sharing my screen, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was great. Thank you. Oh, thanks, for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Um, um, but it's really impressive to, like, and, and inspiring to watch people like yourself and other, there's a couple of I can think of um, who've just, like, stuck with your practice and are just, like, seems like you're just killing it right now. Like, and that's, it's, it's like, that's very <laughs> cool to me. It's like, wow, God, if they can do that, you know, yeah. and I, I can do this as well. But, um, yeah. You know, I, th- I think for me, the challenge has never been it's never been the painting part. It's always been like everything else after that. <laughs> like, so you know. what do you mean? Like the marketing part or yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Really? Yeah. yeah, I know, which well, is ironic, right? <laughs> it is ironic. Is it because you, are you working full time now, like 40 hours a week or 60 hours a week? I am, I am working full time at 40 hours a week, but I, yeah. it's also just, um, I mean, yes, I am working full time. Um, and that, I guess, is part of the issue because it's like one of those things like, well, what do I want to do most? It's like, well, I'd rather just, focus on the painting, you know, and like the marketing stuff, I'll get to that later. You know, it's like, that's right. not as fun, you know, at this point. Um, okay. But I think really what it comes down to is this, it's just more like effective organization of my time. That's really what it is. And I like within the last two months, especially, I've really made some strides in terms of like looking at my schedule and be like, what is it that I'm actually like doing with this time? Am I using it as wisely as I could be? Like, Right. What do I really want to focus on here? Um, That's awesome. Yeah. So how, so how did you like go? How did you go from okay? I'm working 40 hours a week. I'm not painting as much as I would like to be painting. I've got a full time job. I mean, looking at your calendar, how did you start to nail down like how you'd like to restructure your time? Uh, part of it is um, uh, <laughs> this is I guess this is going to contradict what I said earlier, but like I have a pretty extensive friend group you know and it's it's just a lot of good people there's always something to do like when you get off work or when you on the weekend you know there's always something to do um and just san francisco as well like there's just you know there's something there's like a new art show or there's like some cool event going on there's always yeah yeah, i don't want to say they're distractions because that sort of implies that they're not worthwhile they certainly are but um but it but it really did come down like looking at these things and being like okay, like I don't, I need to actually cut out some of these things, you know, and just right. learn, learning to say no, you know, because um, what my paintings like schedule is that I just, I paint during the night, like I'm a night owl sort of, I think I'm vaguely in, like have like slight insomnia or something, because <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough to get like a pill or anything like that, but it's like just enough, where it's just like, <laughs> Like staying up till like three or four for me painting is doesn't feel hard. It's like it's really, wow. yeah, it's really easy actually. But it's the it's, really? so so I got that time locked down. But it's all the other surrounding stuff where it's like, okay, how do I, yeah. how do I, you know, I have to have a job. I have to make money. You know, I have mm-hmm. to, I do have to have like a friend group. But it's like, I don't know. I think there's things that I just like. I, um, it's just looking at like, okay, well, what would I actually like to do with my life? You know. What am right. I trying to go towards? And I think if, if you have, if you're fortunate enough to n- have something that you know you like doing, then you kind of, I, I guess you should just, I, I suppose, I think, is that if you're fortunate enough to know that you have something you like doing, then you should just head towards that thing uh, right. like as, as much as you can. So like if you, if you had your choice and you, know, you obviously enjoy your art a lot, where would you like to see yourself regarding just your art, not, not working for Nick or anything else, but like, where would you like to be as an artist in five years? Uh, five years, I'd like to have representation um, in at least five galleries. I've, and, and again, um, this is all sort of a new you know, page for me, so I'm not trying to say this as if I, uh, I'm, you know, the end all, I've got it figured out. <laughs> like, I, no, I don't, okay. but, I've, but the last, within the last two months, I've been like really actually like doing the marketing side, doing the business side. So I have like a list of all these guys, compiled a list of like galleries that I like. Instagram is a great way to start doing this. Like if you're, if you're wondering, you know, like what, where should I go? What gallery should I get? And like, 
get an Instagram account if you don't already have one. Find galleries that you enjoy, start following them, and then compile a list of those galleries that you have and look like create a, it's like kind of like applying to college almost. Like you compile like a list sure. of 10, you know? Like right. here's, here's the five that I know I could get into. Like here's the three that I'm not so certain. Here's the two, it's like it's never gonna happen. Um, and then you just start from there. So ideally, by I think within um, five years, I could have representation in at least five other galleries, uh, five galleries. Uh, I'd like to actually start um, teaching a little bit. I've done it a little bit through the academy and like the interactions that I have with um, people in art to life. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be able to, like, to answer someone's question, to like help someone solve something. I'm not trying to say that I have the... Um, the skill that Nick does in terms of teaching or anything like that, but I know that it's something I enjoy doing. Um, right, right. And I and I I know that within five years I could be doing this as a full time job. Great. I've, you know, I've I've seen it just from having just from working. You know, someone like you or someone like uh, I mean, just Nick as as well. Right. Like I, yeah. I can, it's so possible. It really, really is. Um, it is. Yeah. You know, it's just a matter of dedicating. It's what's whatever you're going to feed, whatever you feed is going to grow, you know? Yeah, so that's you, very true. You have to be willing to feed that thing if you want it to grow.